tracking the rain showers this afternoon. We're going to let you know how things are trending, and we've got a Brewers forecast for you. And the Brewers begin their postseason run in Milwaukee. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Kane. A foggy morning and more rain in the forecast. Let's head to the Weather Center. Meteorologist Chris Reese has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. It was pretty thick this morning. It was very thick this morning. That fog thankfully able to burn off as we moved into the afternoon, Mark. Now my attention really turns to that opportunity to see some showers again right here in south central Wisconsin. That being said, here's what I'm looking at right now. We did have some showers work their way over towards southwestern Wisconsin earlier on. Those showers have since falling apart, but it's still very damp out there. Even my concrete at home, the sidewalk, things are damp because of the moisture that we do have in the air right now. We're going to track a couple more showers this white as we start to move into the afternoon. The atmosphere gets a little bit destabilized from the sun being above the clouds, and this is what we can expect to see. That being said, we look ahead. Yes, we're going to see a couple more chances for some showers, but we're also going to start to see a little bit more sunshine in between the passing cloud cover. I'm also watching the weather over in Milwaukee. If you are getting ready to head that way, they're going to be tracking at least the chance for an occasional shower. Temperatures are going to be staying into the 60s and 70s throughout the whole time. That's for tailgate. I'm sure, I assume that your roof will be closed today. Yes, yes, it will be. <laughs> All right, Chris, thank you. The Milwaukee Brewers begin their postseason run this afternoon in Milwaukee against the Atlanta Braves. First pitch is at 337. If you're not going to the game, it will be aired on TBS. Gates to American Family Field open in just a few minutes. So how do the Brewers make it to the World Series from here? Well, today's game is the first of a best of five National League Divisional Series. The winner of the series will then play the winner of the Giants and Dodgers Series, also being played later today. The winner of that series will go on to play in the World Series. You can keep track of the game by downloading the Channel 3000 mobile app. We'll provide updates throughout the day. More local news now. Sun Prairie police are looking for the driver of a vehicle that hit an ambulance last night. It happened around 1130 near downtown Sun Prairie at the intersection of 151 and South Bristol Street. Officials say the ambulance was transporting a patient in a non-emergency situation when the other driver crashed into the back of the ambulance. The patient wasn't injured, but two paramedics had to be treated for minor injuries. The investigation is ongoing. In Milwaukee, three people are dead and another injured after a shooting overnight. It happened around 9.45 last night just north of the city's downtown. A 36-year-old man, a 30-year-old man, and a 19-year-old woman all died from gunshot wounds. A 19-year-old man is in critical condition. Around the same time, another shooting was reported in another part of Milwaukee. As many as five people were shot in that incident. During the incident, a Milwaukee police officer shot at a suspect who eventually ran away from police. The condition of the victims is unclear at this time. The House is expected to come back to Washington on Tuesday to pass a bill raising the debt limit and avoiding a default. That's because the Senate got past bipartisan bickering last night and approved a short-term measure that raises the debt limit until early December. Deborah Alferon has more from Capitol Hill. On this vote, the yeas are 50, the nays are 48. The Senate voted to temporarily raise the debt limit, avoiding a financial disaster. On Monday morning, I said we needed to pass a bill to address the debt limit by the end of the week, and that is exactly what we did. Republicans had been blocking the bill, but Minority Leader Mitch McConnell struck a deal with Democrats, allowing them Mr. to get President, the 60 votes needed to break leader. the filibuster. Well, I understand why Republican leadership blinked, but I wish they hadn't. I wish they hadn't because I believe we were on the verge of victory. Instead, it was Democrats claiming victory in the standoff. Senate Republicans finally realized that their obstruction was not going to work. I thank, very much thank, my Democratic colleagues for our showing our unity in solving this Republican manufactured crisis. Majority Leader Schumer's victorious floor speech may have come at a price. It not only angered Republicans, but it also angered a Democratic senator who is key to passing the president's agenda. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin looked on in frustration as Leader Schumer spoke on the Senate floor, later telling reporters it was inappropriate. Well, both sides, I'm just saying, it's just the civility is gone, okay, and I'm not going to be part of getting rid of it. I'm going to try to bring it back when I speak out when I see someone do something like that. Democrats need Manchin in order to pass the president's multi-trillion dollar social spending bill. Deborah Alfaro, CBS News, Capitol Hill.
Democratic Senators Manchin and Arizona's Kirsten Sinema are holding up passage of the spending bill, saying the price tag is too high. President Biden met privately with Manchin yesterday and talks to are likely to continue as the president pushes for passage of his signature legislation. Experts have been warning we could see what they are calling a twindemic of COVID-19 and flu this coming winter. Now, new research being presented at, at the American Academy of Pediatrics conference shows pandemic precautions help stop the spread of flu and other common respiratory viruses last year. Millions of children get sick with the flu every year and tens of thousands are hospitalized with respiratory viruses. Now, a new study shows wearing masks and social distancing stopped the common respiratory viruses from spreading spreading last season. Although each of these things is not perfect, taken together, they really are effective in preventing illness. The study was conducted at an Ohio Children's Hospital from October 2020 through April of 2021 when pandemic measures were in place. Researchers found just two cases of flu and no cases of RSV. When restrictions relaxed in mid-March, viral infections returned. The CDC recommends everyone ages six months and older to receive the flu vaccine with rare exceptions. Two journalists are the 2021 Nobel Peace Prize winners for defending the freedom of press in their countries. The Norwegian Nobel Committee has decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2021 to Maria Ressa and Dmitry Muratov for their efforts to safeguard freedom of expression. Russ is the CEO of the news site Rappler, which has been a target for its critical reports on the Philippines president. Muratov leads the independent Russian newspaper Novita Gazeta. He has defended the rights of journalists in Russia despite facing legal and physical threats. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. A disappointing reading on the nation's labor market and a trick-or-treat dress rehearsal to get a head start on Halloween. I'm Diane King-Hall at the New York Stock Exchange. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in television. The Ultimate Mattress Sale is happening now at Ashley Home Store. Ultimate savings on Tempur-Pedic, Beautyrest, and Purple Mattresses. Plus, Ultimate Door Busters at up to 65% off. And free delivery within five days on in-stock beds. Only at Ashley Home Store. Start your next project and save with 11% off everything at Menards. Platinum Plus Paint and Primer in One features Stain Shield technology providing up to 50% more stain resistance and washability. Save today with 11% off. All Dutch Boy in two your paint, whether working from home or relaxing for the evening. Sylvania two-way bulbs mimic natural sunlight and deliver superior dimming control. Right now, get 11% off all Sylvania LED light bulbs. Save big money at Menards. McGann Furniture in Baraboo reminds you to be sure to ask about delivery options when shopping for new furniture. Because every store is different. Some stores have very specific restrictions, while others charge you an arm and a leg. At McGann's, we take pride in our skilled delivery team, and in most cases, delivery is free. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in today and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. It's no secret, Robertson is Wisconsin's aesthetic leader, but with results this natural, patients can keep it a secret if they want. Our secret to reducing stubborn body fat, Cool Sculpting Elite, the newest technology available. Book a free consultation to learn how Cool Sculpting is different at Robertson. Important healthcare announcement. If people tell you your TV is too loud, or if listening in some environments has become difficult, we are requesting your participation in a special program called the 30-Day Challenge. Hearing Life Hearing Centers are seeking people with hearing difficulties to evaluate a new digital mini hearing aid now being released. To take part in this event, you must call. Please get a pencil and write down the number below. All people with hearing aids or hearing difficulties are wanted to take part in the 30-day challenge evaluating a new high-tech device that sits discreetly behind your ear. This hearing aid is Bluetooth enabled and is rechargeable. 
All hearing assessments are performed at no charge for those taking part in the challenge. Participants will try these hearing aids for 30 days. Call the number below and take the Hearing Life 30-Day Challenge. The Ultimate Sale is happening now at Ashley Home Store. Get ultimate discounts up to 50% off and get a bonus 10% off our sale prices at checkout. Plus, three years interest-free financing with no minimum purchase. Only at Ashley Home Store. It continues to move in fits and starts. According to the Labor Department, the economy grew by 194,000 jobs last month. That was much weaker than expected. Job losses in the government sector hurt the overall number, but the nation's unemployment rate did improve, falling to 4.8 percent. Kroger is going on a hiring spree to prepare for the holidays. The supermarket chain says it wants to fill 20,000 positions across the country. The company says it is hosting a hybrid hiring event on October 13th to try and fill a variety of open spots, including retail, e-commerce, and corporate jobs. Bank of America is boosting its minimum wage. The nation's second biggest bank says it is hiking its minimum wage to $21 an hour. It is part of the firm's plan to reach $25 an hour by 2025. BFA started raising wages in 2017 when it increased its minimum to $15 an hour. And how about a Halloween dry run ahead of the main event? Lowe's is gearing up for the season by hosting a Halloween trick-or-treat tryout in its stores. The events will take place on October 21st between 5 and 7 p.m. in store garden centers. Space is limited to 100 costume-ready families per Lowe's location. Registration is open through October 18th. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Diane King-Hall. Thank you, Diane. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 11 points. The Nasdaq, however, down 37. The S&P 500 down almost six points. 18 former NBA players and one player's wife are accused of taking part in a three-year scheme to falsify medical and dental claims totaling nearly $4 million. Some were NBA champions, others longtime league veterans. Combined, they made more than $300 million in the NBA. Now the 18 former players are possibly facing jail for allegedly defrauding the league's health care plan for current and retired players. According to the indictment, Terrence Williams' plan started a the plan started around November of 2017. He allegedly created fraudulent claims to get reimbursed for medical procedures that never happened. Then he recruited other players to take part in the scheme. Travel records, email, GPS data, and other evidence shows that the defendants who purportedly received medical and dental services at a location on a particular date were often nowhere near the provider's offices when the claimed services were supposedly provided. In one instance, one player was playing basketball in Taiwan. At the same time, he reported getting nearly $50,000 worth of dental work in Beverly Hills. In another, one player and a relative of another one falsely reported getting the same dental procedures on the same teeth on the same days. The NBA called the allegations particularly disheartening and said it plans to cooperate fully with the investigation. The entertainment industry's behind-the-scenes workers are preparing for a possible strike, and some prominent names are speaking out in support of their cause. Hacks star Gene Smart and Hannah Enbinder weighed in on the issues at a Los Angeles event. It's the bare minimum that they're asking for, and we will do, uh, you know, absolutely everything in our power to support them. We love our crew. The union representing the workers is negotiating with studios over pay and working conditions. Stay with us. The fog's moving out, but the rain is moving in. Chris Reese has more in your first warm forecast. from erectile dysfunction? Now there's great news. Peak Performance for Men will help you regain your performance and confidence naturally. Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels, restoring normal and natural function ability where it counts most. There are no needles, no surgery, and best of all, no pain. Call now and receive an ultrasound. Your initial consultation, all for free, in over $300 value. Call Peak Performance for Men today. 
seven years, Steinhoffels has been helping families create the home of their dreams. And during Steinhoffels' 87th anniversary sale, we're celebrating with store-wide savings of 35%, plus an extra $87 off your purchase of $17.99 or more. Steinhoffels has the largest selection of furniture and mattresses ready for your home. Celebrate 87 years with us and save big during Steinhoffels' anniversary sale. Only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. They're strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. Whether you have a design emergency or you just want to shop the best furniture showroom in town, you need dwellings. Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. Saturday morning, we take a look at the changes restaurants have made to stay open during the pandemic. And Julian will have your weekend forecast. Join us Saturday morning at 5 and 8. News 3 Now and Channel 3000 put top stories and breaking news at your fingertips. Video alerts and forecasts, simple and fast. Download the Channel 3000 app today. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. And Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today, so here are your farm numbers. Some rain possibly moving in. Yeah, that is the possibility. We've been watching this area low pressure for quite some time, Mark, and now what's happening. There we go. We've been watching this area of low pressure for quite some time now, and it is moving on top of us today. But as it starts to work its way further towards the north, we're going to start to see our shower chances moving in a little bit more of a traditional direction. So yesterday they were all coming at us from the east. And to the afternoon, we'll see some additional showers pop up especially around four or five o'clock. This time they're going to be coming from the west. What you would normally expect is that area of low pressure is now to our north and the moisture starts to wrap around from that. It's not going to be widespread though. It is truly spotty shower in nature, not the widespread rain that we saw yesterday. Tomorrow, I expect things to be dry around here. We'll see several hours of some sunshine tomorrow too. But by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, cloud cover is going to start to roll back on in and we're going to track a chance for some showers as we start to move into Sunday as well. This is that next system that we're going to be watching. Only a chance for showers on Sunday, though. This does not appear to be a widespread type deal. But I'm keeping my eyes on Monday to Monday afternoon from the south and west. We're going to watch this next system move towards the north. The area low pressure is going to be towards the south. So if you think of this like a winter pattern, this would be one of those lows to the south and we'd be on the cold side. Instead, we are warm enough that this is going to be all rain as it works its way on through. We are not in that time of the year just yet. Another system then comes our direction Wednesday into Thursday, bringing with it chances for some widespread rain. That being said, let's add on top of what we've seen already. And as we go through next week, we have the potential to see about another inch, maybe two inches of rain 
in southern Wisconsin. And again, this is on top of the rainfall that we saw out there yesterday that really favored the southern part of the area. The further north you were, you kind of missed out on seeing that chance for some rain. But if you were in southern Wisconsin, man, oh man, especially from Janesville up towards Madison and Black Earth, you got the rain and you got it in some big numbers as well. Some areas received upwards of two inches of rain, maybe even two and a half Reese Manor had two inches of rain. Meanwhile, the airport on the northeastern side of town only half an inch, but all of this was beneficial. Parts of Janesville received upwards of two inches of rainfall as well. And we're going to track the chance to see at least a couple more showers as we go throughout the rest of this afternoon. 66 right now. Temperatures are really going to be hovering into the 60s, perhaps some low 70s for your afternoon highs. Here we are at 5 o'clock. Look at how those showers bubbled up in the south and west, and they're going to work through. So keep that in mind for your commute. Then as we start to move towards the rest of the night, we'll only have stray showers as those clouds try to break up for us a bit. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s. So if you're headed down for football tonight, only stray showers. This should not be a washout type of Friday night when it comes to the football. 78 Saturday and Sunday. The question is, will this be the last weekend that we are this warm? We're, we're taking the over under. What do you all think? You can tweet me. Do you think this is the last one? Message me on Facebook. I'm willing to uh, to wager that if we hit 80 in some spots in Wisconsin this weekend, this just might be the last time we do it this year. And what's the, what are you wagering? I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll, All right. Message me. we'll see. We'll but, see what happens first. But I'd first. be willing to wager. I'm, I may be wrong on that, but my bold prediction is that we should be done with the 80s after this weekend. All right. We'll enjoy it while we can, I guess. Thank you, Chris. Imagine what would happen if the balloon handlers at the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade just let them all go. Well, that gives you an idea of what Special Shapes Day is at the Albuquerque Balloon Festival is actually like. CNN's Janie Mose reports. Humpty Dumpty didn't have a great fall. He had a great flight upside down over Albuquerque, New Mexico. It was the Special Shapes Rodeo at the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta where an armadillo is named Armadillo and time really does fly. Every which way you turn, there are balloons. You need to have a 360 set of eyes in your head today. Special Shapes Day feels a little like the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. If all the handlers just let their balloons take off, the Fiesta announcers have to keep their lions and their unicorns straight. There's one of the new unicorns. There's one of the new unicorns. Is that a new pig shape? Spidey pig and pigasus. Special Shapes Day starts before dawn with the firing up of the balloons they call glow up. And the sunrise is, is just killing it, just killing it. But you can't start the Special Shapes Rodeo without the national anthem. Oh, say can you see? Oh, you can see all right. Motorists can see. One of the few times out of the year when slow traffic isn't a bad thing. And with all those special shapes lurking... <laughs> Dogs barked and someone tweeted, felt like something was watching me. From jokers and jesters to a sloth on a stick. It is just the cutest darn thing. Everyone had their favorite. Even the sun wore shades. As for the balloon of the day, it was Arabelle who got the honor of first to fly. Or the land of the free. And the home. Of the flying cow. Genie Mouse, CNN, New York. Spectacular. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. I'm next. Howard's working on a special breakfast in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. What we're making today is nacho everyday breakfast, but it may become your new breakfast favorite. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Get more enjoyment out of your outdoor space with patio enclosures. Right now, receive up to $6,500 off sunrooms. This offer won't last long. Call today. Patio enclosures. The house before you, over 30 years old, still has its original window. 
It's bone chilling. Folks, there's no need to be afraid of old windows. Just call Feldco for 50% off. Right now at Feldco, get 50% off windows. Plus, no interest for one year. 50% off windows ends soon. Call now. For quality windows, siding and doors, call 866 for Feldco. My mom is a very outgoing social person. She was very hesitant at first, leaving her house that she'd been in for over 40 years. She was not really sure why we needed to do this. We walked in and we were like, wow, this looks like a five-star hotel. Now that she's here and she's around people every day and she's being social, she really enjoys her time here. When I talk to her at night, she's happy and she's not sad and lonely anymore. I feel relieved and a lot less stressed knowing she's here and knowing she's safe. with fire sprinklers. Fire sprinklers buy time. Time buys life. Learn more at firesprinklersbylife.com. Now at the Century House. Get up to $1,500 stressless credit to put toward additional seating and accessories. Or save $500 on stressless signature base recliners and ottomans. Or recliners with classic power. It's time for Stressless. Proud to be endorsed by the American Chiropractic Association. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Get more enjoyment out of your outdoor space with patio enclosures. Right now, receive up to $6,500 off sunrooms. This offer won't last long. Call today. Patio enclosures. When the weekend finally rolls around, we often have to balance how much time we need to devote to our to-do list with how much time we can spend relaxing and having fun. With the recipe we're making today, you can start your day with a fun-to-eat breakfast no matter what you have planned. And since it's fast, filling, and really tasty, you can't miss. The first thing we do is scramble a few eggs until they're fluffy. A little trick to get the fluffiest eggs ever, add a touch of warm water to them before cooking them. Then, we spoon our eggs over some tortilla chips that we piled onto an oven-proof platter. Over that goes some sliced breakfast sausage, crumbled bacon, fresh salsa, and lots of shredded cheddar cheese. We'll pop this in the oven, and while it warms, we'll get some scallions and jalapenos ready to sprinkle on top. Once the cheese is melted and the chips are super crispy, it's time to dig in. Think of this as a rise and shine version of your favorite nacho supreme. To get the recipe for our fun to share breakfast nachos, simply visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Task Kitchen, where today we found a nacho everyday breakfast way mm -hmm. to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Chris is shaking his head over there. <laughs> that pun was disappointing. <laughs> Hey, we are watching the chance to see some additional showers around here as we move towards the afternoon. It won't be a washout by any means, but 4 or 5 o'clock, don't be surprised if you see a couple of showers go up, especially southwestern parts of Wisconsin, southwestern parts of Dane County. We are going to watch that. 72 today, but it's 78 tomorrow and Sunday. And if we manage to get a little bit more sun on Sunday, we will make it up towards 80. But I want your tweets. What do you think? Was this the last one? Last last warm weekend before we'll we cool find, down? We'll find out. We'll have to see. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. Have a great afternoon.